Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the best reverb plugin in the world. And you might actually already have it. Let's get into it. Okay, so the reason I say you might already have it is because Native Instruments, this is Realm uh, by Native Instruments, and they gave it away for free two years ago when it came out. Pretty neat. And it's now included with complete updates, so it might just be something you already have with complete. I've had it for a while. I don't remember exactly when or how I got it, but I've had it, and it's a great little plugin. It's my favorite reverb plugin. It's the best. I use it 90% of the time. Sometimes I'll use Fruity Convolver. I saw this on an Elangelo interview, and he uses this on the weekend's vocals, and that's when I was really surprised, turned me on to it, and been in love with it ever since. I'm going to show you all the controls. I'm going to move pretty quick on it because it's kind of intuitive, but there's some unique effects here that are only on Realm, and I'm going to show you how to use those as we move through it. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Before I get into anything, I'll let you know that this project is another video. It's how to make fake Post Malone vibrato. I'll link that in the description, but it was a simple project and it's just got vocals and some keys. I'll turn that mix all the way down to give you an idea of how that sounds. And she told me that I'm not enough. Not terrible. Let's turn that back up to where it was before. And she told me that I'm not so right out of the box, the opening preset, pretty good. And it's really wet. I'm going to turn that down to 28. And she told That's a usable preset. I basically always start from here. Uh, great sounding reverb right upon opening. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that way up to about 65%, just so you can hear the changes I'm making as I'm making them. I'll move from right to left. So diffusion is how smooth you want that reverb essentially. That's a little bit more realistic. That's buttery smooth when we turn it all the way up. This particular reverb, the diffusion doesn't make a huge difference. Uh, size is how big of a fake room you have. That gives like a sort of a tunnel sound. And then if we turn it all the way up, it's an expansive hall sound. We'll keep that right at 50. Decay, how long you want that to decay? Short. A little room. Or a huge long hall. Goes all the way up to 200 seconds. This setting is density. This is on dense, you click it, it goes to sparse. This is really smooth when it's on dense and sparse, you can almost hear like the reflections like it's a real room, like in a gym or something. It sounds like delay a little bit, even though there's no delay on this track. You can actually hear the individual reverb hitting, I guess, different walls. Modulation is basically chorus on the reverb. Turn that all the way up, it's almost detuned. Sounds pretty cool. Turn it all the way down. Just straight reverb. Somewhere in the middle sounds nice. You start to hit a chorus -y feel right around 60%. Dampening is basically putting blankets on this wall of imaginary reverb all the way up. It's really dead, really lively. Then in the middle section, we've got this wet dry knob. We've got a lock knob. And that's so if you switch between the 100 presets, you can keep the same wet dry mix. I'll go ahead and turn that off. And then you've got these arrows switching between three different portions of realm. You've got grounded, which is basically like a real room. It's pretty uh, straightforward. Airy is a little bit more fake. It's almost like ethereal. It's too good to be true reverb, really. It's bigger, it's more like a hall reverb. And then cosmic. This is taking some of the unique things about realm and then making a whole different effect with it, essentially. <laughs> Kind of reverb, but kind of not. And you lose some of the different functionalities here. Go back to Airy, because that's what I use most. This reverb knob, don't really worry about it. It's basically, do you want your reverb to be reverb or dry signal? This is the freeze section. And she told me that I'm not when you click it, it freezes that reverb forever. And she left me with the this doesn't extend the reverb. It literally stretches it out forever which can be useful in some situations. You can make some interesting tales if you automate it, for instance. And she told me that I'm not and she left me with a broken heart. Give you some examples. On this other side here, we've got feedback, which plays into the pre-delay. Pre-delay is when do you want that reverb to kick in? Do you want it to kick in immediately? 
We'll set it to zero. Do you want to kick in 100 milliseconds after? And she told me that. 238. And she told me that. There's a little bit of a delay on that. Feedback is looping that same pre-delay back into itself. It's kind of hard to explain, but it makes for some interesting effects. And she told me Makes things really dense and a little experimental later on. This is low cut, cut the lows out, cut the highs out. And she told me that Just want those mids. Put it down to like 15 and turn that feedback up. And she told me that It's very eerie. This is where the experimentation comes in. Pre-delay, feedback, modulation, and decay. Those things in unison will make for some really interesting sounds. It makes the vocals almost sound like a synth. It makes synths sound like voices from the heavens themselves. If we go in here, I'm going to show you if I pull up this dry vocal take, or mostly dry, it's got a little bit of reverb on it, of the same vocal, and then we layer in that experimental one behind it and click on the freeze on and off. And she told me It gives it a really interesting texture that you can't really find anywhere else. It's worth messing around with, automating, but it really does take some time. It gives it some nice textures though. I really love these textures. Straight out of the box, a great reverb. You get your hands dirty, start twisting these knobs, and you've got a machine that can make anything sound like I hope I'm not hyping it up too much. Check and see if you already have it in your library. Realm. If you have any questions on things I kind of skipped over too quickly, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe because when I hit a thousand subscribers, I get a chain. So that's pretty sweet, but I'm only at like 820. So uh, I'd appreciate that. And I will catch you all next time. We'll see you.